Afanay and welcome back to e Historiata. In this next segment, we tell you what's being done to preserve our native languages during FESPAC. Half a day, Guahusi Fremina Sablan, O Gehilului, indigenous language, para festival of the Pacific, Guinea Giza Guahan, Gi Mazu, the Kumite Husiha, Gi para i Nilala, Ifino, Itan Husiha. Fermina serves as the chairperson of the Guam Literary Arts Indigenous Languages Committee for the Festival of Pacific Arts. How I started being um, more um, connected to my native heritage and native language is um, just when I started working on um, producing native language materials and we produced it here under Guam Community College called the Finohaza, which is really the native language of the Chamorro people. Um, there is a great need to really address uh, our own native language as Chamorro people because um, it is really, uh, we have a lot of speakers, but um, a lot of speakers does not necessarily mean a lot of speaking. So there's a difference between speakers and speaking. Uh, uh, so that, that is the driving force and the concern that I have that Many children are not uh, getting the transmission of the native language. Not just Chamorro, but even around the world, there are over 50% 50, uh, 50 of um, native languages are not being transmitted. So by the year 20, uh, by the 21st century, we will be losing uh, more than 50% of world languages if the trend continues for indigenous languages. According to Fermina, language defines a culture. During FESPAC, the committee will host the first ever indigenous language conference titled Moving, Owning, Having, Sharing Our Pacific Heritage Languages into Our Oceanic Pacific Futures. What we, we are planning to do is um, we are going to have um, daily word phrases and words that every country will come in and post on a sort of like a blackboard and also we will have um, an indigenous language conference, a two-day indigenous language conference where we will um, address issues of language restoration, issues of policy, of, um, of uh, uh, increasing resources and also issues of uh, environment and uh, schooling and even media and how all this, uh, how native languages can be transmitted in all its uh, domains, the, which is the seven spheres of life, ma uh, government, economy, uh, education, uh, spirituality, and uh, media and social life in the communities. So there's many domains where language has been uh, overtaken by the dominant language. So we really want to start addressing this during FESPAC because uh, normally it hasn't really been ad addressed during FESPAC, the, the issue of languages. Primarily, you know, we all come together, share our um, artwork, share our uh, dances, share our cooking share everything about us, but inside everything about all those things is the language that is communicated in, which is all the na different native languages. And there's over 7,000 in the world. And in the Pacific nations, there are over one third of all world languages are inside Pacific nations. According to Fermina, the conference will focus on four themes. The way we derive with, uh, with the four themes is, uh, you know, in our, in our meetings with my committee. Uh, these are the main things that we really need to address. And every, every Pacific nation um, is addressing just like the Maoris, the Hawaiians. Um, theme one is milestones in language restoration, revitalization and preservation. Theme to dreaming and visioning futures and intentionality for indigenous languages 100 years from now. So this the theme two is primarily the the what we want to see ourselves 100 years from now in in language vitality, uh, viability and sustainability. And then uh, theme three 
teaching indigenous specific heritage languages and theme for policy implications for indigenous languages for vitality and sustainability. So uh, inside all these four themes uh, addresses uh, our domains of language uh, vitality and spaces. The inaugural FESPAC Indigenous Languages Conference is scheduled for May 27th and 28th. I just want to thank FESPAC and uh, I'm very thankful for the opportunity to work with others who are um, helping to move forward language restorations uh, in Pacific nations and to learn from them as well what are the different issues, the challenges and the progressive policies that work towards um, uh, becoming the driving force for restorative uh, languages and uh, I'm very thankful for that. Don't forget to do a small if you're watching E. Historiata. We'll see you next week.